Hello everyone, welcome back! I'm Gaming Quitter, the most delicious quitter of them all! With Humanard Midgrossormer, we not only have the unit with the longest name in the game, but also the first dragon besides Mim that is playable in a human form. And for a welfare unit, he is extremely good. He might even be better than some units from the summoning pool. Let's take a look. Humanoid Midgrossormer is a 5 star wind bow. His first skill, Ancient Tempest, deals one hit of 2300% damage and raises his dragon gauge if the attack connects. This is super important for him, but we will talk about that soon. His second skill, Catastrophic Blast, deals four hits of 700% damage, which means he can deal 2800% damage with this. It also inflicts Stormlash, which is pretty dope, because now everyone can have a free Stormlash enabler on their team. His co-ability is the skill haste that both usually have. His chain co-ability, however, is where things start to get a bit nutty. It gives the wind units on the same team as Humanoid Midgrossormer a huge dragon gauge fill rate boost by 20%, which may not sound much, but it does help shapeshifting sooner and more often in a fight. His first ability, Windworm's Nature, is something that was to be expected. Whenever Humanoid Midgrossormer shapeshifts, he goes into his dragon form, regardless of which dragon is equipped. He also deals 80% more damage in his dragon form thanks to this ability. Humanoid Mid is a Bargris unit and his third ability fills his dragon gauge by 10% at the start of quests. So you're asking, why is Humanoid Midgrossormer so good? He is an absolute beast in his dragon form and his skill mods aren't too bad either. His attack mods in dragon form are where it's at and with the right worm print setup, he can just go absolutely wild. Slap Gala Nard, Gala Juden and Dragon Yul Sainfried on the backline and he becomes even stronger. And with the upcoming Holy Worms Advent worm print, he becomes a beast that unleashes havoc on his enemies. This post I found on Reddit from Land of Melvora shows a very nice comparison between him, a free welfare unit, and Gala Mim. The auto attacks of Humanoid Midgorsormer's Dragon Form are even stronger than both Dragon Forms of a Gala unit. So basically, don't sleep on Human Mid. He is an amazing unit and if done right, will be able to be in Dragon Form quite a lot. And the best thing, and I'm going to sound like a broken record, he's free. You can just build him without using any resources besides the augments. So go play the event right now, it's an amazing event, the story is awesome, and get him and those sweet sweet convictions by just playing him to build him. He really is a very good free unit. And that's it. I hope this video helped you understand Human Mid's kit a bit better, and if it did, please subscribe to the channel for more Trigella's content. Also, leave a like if you want and tell me in the comments below what your thoughts about Human Mid are. If you need a place where you can talk about Trickier Last, join our Discord, the link is in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!